We've got action at Tritlagasa. Anna, get on it. Good morning to you too, Sven. What's going on? The police have caught some smugglers. Get me the details. Contraband? Any idea what's being moved? The only moving you should be concerned about is you moving there. Nua, hi there. What's happening over here? Miss Myers, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to share this information. I'd ask Uli, but I don't see him around. It can't be that big of a deal, can it? Indeed it can't, ma'am. Just some smugglers. The neighbors reported suspicious behavior. People sneaking around. I caught one of them. He's on his way to the police station now. Oh. Well, Nua, that's good news. What were they trying to smuggle? Well, actually, my colleagues caught him. Just some alcohol, I reckon. You reckon? Yes. I'm a pretty astute observer. There may be something to this. Thanks. I'll snap a few photos and be on my way. Make sure I look great for the front page. Looks like they were loading the contraband from the backyard into the truck. I should take a closer look. This must be where they store their goods. I found Benzedrine. So here's what this is all about. Have you found something? An inhaler? It's not just an inhaler. Benzedrine is an amphetamine, a central nervous system stimulant. So, like a narcotic drug? Exactly. I'll need to photograph this. I'll take it from here. Ernestine? Hello! Haven't seen you in a while. How have you been? Miss Myers, I... You don't look well. Did something happen? I've just found that Dr. Brunner, dear Lord. He was such a great man. Oh dear. I'm so sorry. Miss Myers, maybe you could come with me. Take a look at the scene. We haven't had the most competent officers lately. Your help would be much appreciated. You're being unfair. Lieutenant Uli Reiter knows what he's doing. But I'd certainly be willing to help you out. I'll swing by the hospital later today. I need to finish an assignment beforehand. All right? Thank you. Thank you, Miss Myers. Time to get back to the office now. Time to write the article. The draft article is finished. Time to pick a photo. Which one should I go with? Great. Let's see if Sven's in so I can show him the article.
Got the article? So what's all the noise about the Tritlgasa? Benzedrine inhalers? Hmm. Well, that's a large amount. You got any idea what they want them for? I believe the government is looking to make this substance illegal. Someone could be stockpiling them for profit once they're off the market. As of right now, it's just an inhaler. Well, yes, but... Anything else noteworthy? The police caught one of the smugglers, but I haven't had the chance to talk to him. And their truck had German license plates. They might have been planning to move their cargo to Germany. All right, that'll do. Well done. I should call Uli to find out more about what happened at the hospital. Uli Geister speaking. It's Anna. Something went down at the hospital. You're on the case, I believe. What? How do you... There is no case. It was an accident. I promised one of the nurses I'd look into it, if that's all right with you. Ah, fine. But let me make one thing crystal clear. Yes, Uli? I am not one of your buddies who'll do whatever you tell them to do. Understood, Uli. Very well. I'll see you there then. Perfect. Anna. You came. I'm so glad. This way, please, into the laboratory. The police are insisting that it was an accident. But Dr. Bruno was always extremely careful. Anna, come in. I'll show you around. Carl Bruno, found dead in the storage room. He suffocated to death. The door slammed shut on him, trapping him inside. It didn't take long. The room is pretty small and doesn't have any ventilation. An unfortunate accident. Excuse me, Lieutenant. Isn't that against the rules? I mean, bringing a journalist to a crime scene. <laughs> you know, it's nothing personal, Miss... Anna Myers. You must be Ralph Zacks. Pleasure to meet you. Have we met before? Not in person, no. I read an article about you in Science Universe. Anna has already proved herself to be a reliable person. Dr. Zax was Bruno's partner. I'm sorry for your loss, Doctor. Now that we're acquainted, let's take a look around. I found a skull. A fellow of infinite jest. May I? We'd often use it to hold the door open. Any idea of why Carl didn't use it this time? People are more forgetful when they're in a hurry or focused on something. 
It's also possible that Dr. Brunner put the skull in place to hold the door, but somebody could have kicked it out of place, thus trapping the doctor. How cruel. Why would someone want to do that? Do you know if there's anybody who benefits from Dr. Brunner's death? No. He was the kindest man I have ever known. We also found a death note inside. Take a look. This is the end. There is no need to look into the circumstances. Karl Brunner. What an unusual death note. In what way? There's no explanation. Furthermore, he's instructing us not to look into the matter. And why does it start with a lowercase t? It almost seems cryptic. Dirk has already confirmed that it's Karl Blumen's handwriting. Can we take a look at the body? It's over there. A pen. He had a light with him. These scratches look fresh. They must have been made by Dr. Brunner. Great, I found a lockbox. Uli, this lockbox has scratches on it. Let's have Dirk examine it. All right.